today we were going to as part of as part of Philly's uh, Philly Tech Week. Uh, we planned an event for the children to try to encourage primarily those children that may not get as much exposure to computers as some others. We tried to plan an event that would be both educational and fun and as well as um, provide them some resources of, of what's available out online both again for education and that's free. So we were going to cover today a little bit on um, some of the coding resources that are available online. And uh, uh, one main website um, that you might have also seen on one of the handouts that we had earlier, we had a computer resource handout and one of the sites listed on there is code.org. Um, code.org again is a site that again uh, links you to, to various resources that are free. As it says, every student in every school should have an opportunity to learn to code. Coding, basically software development is, is the basis for anything that's technology. I mean, everything has some language behind it that's telling it what to do, telling the computer what to do. And as well as everybody that's using all these phones or smartphones, and are downloading all these apps. All these apps are based around code and sometimes it could have been as simple as something that it, if you had learned how to do it you could have wrote your own app and, as, and anybody that knows you know if you're not getting the free apps then you're paying you know anywhere from a few cents up to a few dollars for each of those apps mm -hmm. and it might have just taken you know a couple of minutes to an hour or so to have, have developed your own. So we so were going to say mm -hmm. with this website, mm -hmm. I can actually go on there and learn how to create my own yes. apps. Yes. So like there's these apps out there costing me like maybe $40 a month for um, bookkeeping. It's all, all I do is like scan the receipt and then it sends it to a file for me. I could create something like that. Yes. That is so cool. Right there out on this site. Um, code.org and why why would this be important to people is there a future like could this be a career for somebody like why should every student know how to do code like your website says I actually I'll I'll put it a couple of ways um coding is important it's not the only thing. Uh, my uh, emphasis is really is that every, every individual should have some basic understanding of information technology, computer technology, because everything, in that case, 100% almost of everything is based on computer technology. There's, even if you're in a paperwork task or a labor task, somebody somewhere is using a computer to do something connected with that. Mm -hmm. So the, and the importance behind it is one, just having a basic understanding and knowledge of that, but two, all of the current jobs that are sitting vacant right now in the U.S. because we don't have enough people that have basic computer skills enough to get those jobs. So there are thousands of jobs and hundreds of thousands of jobs sitting across the U.S. that are currently vacant because we don't have people with the skills. Okay. So it's even if you just got some basic skills, you could probably get a job and then that company would teach you the rest of the specialty skill that they need in order to get the work done. And so, you know, um, that's really one of the things I'm trying to do is get people to understand all the folks that are currently out here that are potentially unemployed, mm -hmm. if they had the capability to learn some of the basic computer skills, they could potentially, you know, get some opportunities to get a job of some kind because there truly are jobs sitting. They're just sitting there waiting. Yes, for they are to get sitting. And you also hear a lot of concern from from companies that they are ha having to bring in 
their labor, their technology labor, just like you might hear them bringing in their farm labor. They have to bring in their technology labor as well. They're bringing them in from overseas mm. because we do not have enough graduates mm. of technology schools. Wow. And this is not necessarily college level. You can go and just go to your basic community level school um, not to be endorsing anybody, but you've heard the commercials of ITT Tech and mm -hmm. schools like that that might be just a few months of training, but they have job placement assistance. Mm -hmm. Just get that basic training, <laughs> you know, or at least learn how to do your basic office um, applications, word, pro word processing, spreadsheets, and databases, and PowerPoint uh, presentation making and you could potentially get a job. So anyway. I didn't know that we had a Philly Tech Week. <laughs> However, um, I had my godchildren this weekend and I wanted to um, take them to do some different activities around the community. So um, I Googled a um, hundred things to do <laughs> and um, Metro Kids popped up and I um, searched through their website and I seen what was going on for today in the city and the surrounding areas. And um, we had a list of things to do and this was just, this was one of our things that we came to do. Um, I liked it because I know Jay, he likes, he likes games a lot. And I know Naira, she likes to, she likes computers and things like that. So I figured that this would be a good program for them to come and indulge and do some pro, excuse me, programming activities. So. And how do you like it so far? It seems good. Um, I didn't think Naira was going to be as interactive as she is now, but she's doing really well and Jay's learning. And I know he loves to play games, so it's, it's good so far.